Hey, what's up YouTube? Good morning everybody. Um, I'm gonna, I just got some mail in today and uh, I'm gonna make a couple more videos for you guys. So, um, just give me one second, let me set this up. First thing I got is my tire for my RV, which I'll be making a video soon. It is a um, it's a premium highway rib, and the size is. Eight by seventeen and a half um, LT new tire. It was uh, st it was stated that it was used, but it still got these little rubber things on it. <coughs> so, but this is the tire for my RV, and uh, I'll be making future videos on that very soon. So. But that's one of the things I just got today. Just get that out of the way. Next, hang on one second, I have to get a knife so I can open up the packages. Okay. Uh, first thing I got today, I don't know what it is, but um, we're gonna open it together. To see what it is. I wonder what this is. Oh, I know what this is. This is a camping shovel that I ordered. Not bad. It's got a nice little protective uh, case with a little belt loop on it. Camo. It's decent quality. And then this is the camp shovel. It's rather small. Quality isn't all that great. Um, it's got a little pickaxe on one side, shovel, bottle opener, and a little serrated knife on the other side. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's not bad. Tightens up like this. And then the handle screws on like this. It's not for everyday use, it's survival equipment. If you need something, you know, maybe dig a hole. And then that's the pickaxe. And then this part folds down like this. Makes it a little hand shovel. You dig a small little hole if need be. It's thin material. It's not that that great. I mean, I can can't bend the shovel with my hand, but um, it's good enough where if you need to dig a hole in a survival situation, it'll work. Um, I might possibly make a video later on how to reinforce this because it's got a small little rivet here holding it together which doesn't look like it's that strong so I might take that out and put a big thick screw in there and then possibly reinforce the rest of it later but for a survival situation or if you're camping it'll do the job for you so it's not bad I think this one was Twenty dollars on marketplace, I think. So it's not that bad. You pay for what you get. So and easy to set up and break down. You just unscrew this piece, 
and the whole shovel folds up. The handle unscrews like this, and then the whole thing fits right back in the carry case that it comes in that's supplied with it. Velcro it shut with the lid, and you can either I don't really know if you have this together right. What's going on here? Maybe not be like that. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be, like that. It's got a little belt buckle right here. So if you want, you can wear it on your belt like this. So that's one of the things that I got. Next, I don't know what this is, but we're going to find out together. Obviously something that I ordered. I don't know what it is, but we're going to find out. We're going to find out together. I think I know what this is. I think this is the stator for my Tomas scooter. I think. Yep. I have a Tomas scooter downstairs. And this is the stator for it. That I bought. Because it has no spark. So I ordered a brand new stator for it. Hopefully. Once I install this, I'll be able to get spark and to drive it. So, um, it's not like all the usual ones where they have four and five wires. This is a three wire. I don't know if you can see that. Two wires in here, one wire for here. This is for the pickup. This is for the stator. And as you can see, that's the pickup. That's the stator. So, I'm not going to be uh, installing this today because I have to go to work early. But, there will be another video that I'm going to make on installing this and getting that scooter running. Because I do have other scooters that I'm going to be selling. And this is probably the one scooter that I'm going to keep because it's the most complete. So, um... Again, I apologize for such a short video. Um, that's all that I got in today. Again, I'm going to be, I have more stuff coming, so I will be making more videos as more stuff comes. Um, so, that's pretty much it for now. Um, if you like this video, please, um, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, like I said, I will be making more videos in the future as more stuff comes in. Um, and I'll also be making separate videos on, uh, on just my, uh, my sobriety right now and how I deal with it and things that I use for coping skills. So, um, like I said, if you like this video, uh, hit that like button. Um, if there's anything you'd like to ask me or talk to me about, uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe already. Helps me out, keeps, uh, keeps the channel going and um, it uh it shows me that people actually care so that's it pretty much in a nutshell so uh you guys out there have a nice day and uh enjoy your week okay talk to you guys later peace and love <laughs>